Hey friends, welcome to Review with the Demon and happy Halloween. Today, I am reviewing Three Floyd's Permanent Funeral. I mean, look at the artwork. It's a perfect Halloween beer and they just released, released it. It's ultra fresh. Another reason why I decided to review this beer, when this beer first came out, it was... Well, not when it first came out, when I first had it back in like 2014, 2015, it was like one of my favorite beers I've ever had and my favorite beer from Three Floyds. The last time I had it was in 2020 and I was still blown away by it. So I'm really excited to have this batch. That being said, let's get into Three Floyds Feminine Funeral. It is 10.5 alcohol by volume, and it says the wolf inside this Imperial India Pale Ale is trying to walk upright. This bright and aromatic beer was brewed with our friends in the band Pig Destroyer. Pig Destroyer is an awesome metal band. It's a collaboration with them. It's always been a collaboration with them. That being said, let's crack it. All right. 10.5 alcohol by volume, but you know, last time I had it, like I don't remember it on um, tasting that strong so all right it's got like um an orangey like color to it um yeah orangey color let's get a whiff of the nose here all right yeah i'm getting a little bit of like malt character i'm getting a lot of citrus a lot of citrus so i tried looking up like what kind of hops are in this beer and i couldn't find out but judging from the nose it does smell like citrus in this beer maybe a little bit of armorillo um let's get a whiff of the nose again yeah so i'm getting a lot of citrus zest a little bit of candied grapefruit a little bit of malt um there's almost like there's almost like a grassy dankness to it as well on the nose oh almost spilled a little bit that's not good i don't want to waste any beer um so that's what i'm getting from the nose that being said let's take three floyd's permanent funerals down the hatch salute Okay, really good, but it's a lot different from the 2020 batch. The 2020 batch I had was really hazy and really juicy, but not overly sweet. It was hazy, juicy with the OG permanent funeral base. This is a little, this is taking it back a little more old school. Not what I was expecting, but let me uh, take it down the hatch one more time and let's see all the notes I'm getting. So I'm definitely getting like almost like a caramel. Then I'm getting like that citrus zest. Then I'm getting like a candy grapefruit. Then I'm getting like a dankness and grassiness with a little bit of bitterness. Um, this is really good. It's really good, but honestly, it's not what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting something from the 2020 version, um, like something a little more hazier. Honestly, personally, for me, that batch was a little bit better um but that's just my that's just honestly my opinion this is still really good but i feel like this has a little more in common than with like maybe like a half acre navaja or a bell's hop slam and when i had it in 2014 2015 it honestly was tasting a little bit different than this i feel like this is one of those beers where it might differ from batch to batch year to year they only make it in the fall um curious to see what other people's experiences were with this beer i want to know but that's my experience if i had to give this beer a rating three floyd's permanent funeral i would probably give it a 4.25 4.25 i think that's a fair rating it's still really good uh, just wasn't what I was expecting because the last patch I had was a lot different. But if you want something like a really strong and more old school leaning, like a like a half acre Navajo or Bell's Hop Slam, like this is going to be similar. All right, guys, salute. Have a good Halloween and be safe out there. Let's get weird for Halloween. Salute. Cheers.